In this video, I am going to show you how you set up and schedule jobs in SQL Server Management Studio. But before we go ahead and do that, I need you to verify that your SQL Server agent service is running. If you're on a PC, you hit the Windows button and type in SQL Server Configuration Manager, and that should load up this window. And if you are on a computer that some kind of a central IT department likes to control with all kinds of security settings, I highly suggest that you run the SQL Server Configuration Manager as an administrator, then right click the SQL Server Agent Service and hit Start and hopefully that loads up without issue. Yeah, you can now see it's running. So now we can go ahead and set up our first SQL job in Management Studio. Now that my SQL Server agent service is running, I have the opportunity to create jobs. So here in my database node in the bottom, I have the SQL Server agent. And if I go on jobs and click new job, then I can make a job. Let's do initial load of data warehouse. I can make an optional description here. I can also change the owner. Right now the owner is with my login credentials. I can change that, for example, to the server account because then changes can be made uh, by other people who have privileges under the server account. Whereas if it's in my own name, it's only with my login credentials that I can delete this job again. So if I click on steps here in the select page pane, I can now choose new and give it a descriptive name. Step, step one, uh, create database. And then I go in and I click open. And then I choose the script and it inserts here as a TSQL. So if I make changes to my file, they're not going to be made in here. I will need to either go in and make the same changes here or uh, simply just add the file again. I need to also make sure that I run the script against the relevant database. And I know if it says use master in here, it's going to use master, but the north wind is here. So you can change that just needs to be correct, right? So do that, hit OK. That was the first step. We create a second step, hit new. Step two, create tables. I go in, click open, and then like this. Make sure to change it, Northwind DV. Yes, click OK, and you just keep going with all the steps. Now I've gone ahead and created all these steps. I can then add a schedule if I like. I can make a new schedule. This is the initial load. So initial load job of the data warehouse uh, that should just occur. Let's, let's say that we're going to do that Saturday because then the source systems uh, might be the, the least affected by, by our reads. The occurrence is Saturday. Let's do Saturday at uh, 1 p.m. and it's only going to happen once. Let's make it this Saturday, so the the 27th, not a recurring start. Uh, one time, yeah. So that's going to run on Saturday if I hit OK. So I'm going to hit OK. Here, initial load of data warehouse. 